Okay, now this is a little high for my taste. Whew. You know, I've never even been to an airport. Yeah, this is actually my first time at an airport. All right. All right, bud. Love, love you. Love you. Thanks Be for careful. the ride. Thanks uh, for the company. I'll see you soon. Okay, babe. Love you. Love you too. Okay, so it is currently like 5.30 in the morning. Me and my dad just got to the airport. He's going out of town again on catastrophe duty, and he's being sent to, I think, West Virginia. So I rode with him up to the airport, and... I'm taking the car back to the house. We actually left from Corinth at like 9 o'clock and we didn't get here till 5. And I'm in Huntsville and Huntsville is not that far away from Corinth. So if you're wondering why it took so long, I have to back up and just tell this quick little story. So my grandmother is in the process of moving up to Corinth from Philadelphia, Mississippi, now that she's no longer teaching. So she's trying to get her house sold in Philadelphia, and me and my dad decided that we'd go down there and get some work done, try and get some stuff moved, cut the grass and all that. Well, that genius ran off and left his wallet in Philadelphia. So instead of being able to just drive from Corinth to Huntsville, we had to drive three hours in the opposite direction just to go pick up his wallet and then head straight to Huntsville, which is another four hours. So what should have been like an hour and a half trip ended up being like a seven hour trip and I couldn't sleep the whole entire ride. So I think what I'm gonna do now is try and find somewhere to park and just take a quick nap because I am like super sleep deprived right now and I need sleep like I'm not I'm no good when I don't have sleep so yeah uh, I'm gonna go find somewhere to sleep and I will meet y'all there okay so I just woke up from a nap and it's currently like 8 o'clock so I slept a little bit longer than I anticipated but that was much needed and I'm not really in any hurry to get back home, but I guess I'm getting ready to head out. I might just stop somewhere along the way and just explore while I'm out and about. Let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so I decided that my bed is desperately calling my name, but you know, I want to have some content for you guys today. So I decided to stop in Burnsville, which is like 10 minutes from where I live in Corinth. And the reason I stopped here is because they have a neat little place that I like to come visit called Tom Bigby Waterway. There's nothing really just too spectacular about it, but it's just a nice little place to be able to come and get away and just get in my thoughts and be away for a while. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what there is to see here. So this, this is the Tom Bigby Waterway. Okay, so this is probably like my favorite spot and you'll see why here in just a second. Okay, so I'm gonna go scale this real quick. Okay, I finally made it through all that. I just made it through all that jungle. You seriously have to take some thorns to be able to get through that. Oh my gosh, I'm tired. I hadn't even made it up the rest yet. All that's worth it because 
Whenever I get up here, this view, I just, I love it. So let's get up these rocks, guys. Made it up the rocks. Almost there, almost there. Oh wait, I forgot. I'm supposed to go down there. So back down the rocks. Dang it. I'm sweating a lot, but I'm here under the bridge. I'm about to climb up that ladder now. Man, I'd be missing out on a great view. And I'm about to show it to you guys. You ready? I just love being up here. Like, I just feel so much smaller whenever I'm up here. And like, being able to just see so far out, like, I love it. Man, it would be crazy to fall off this thing. <laughs> I couldn't imagine. Whew. It would make for an epic jump though. Oh! It was a bird. <laughs> yeah. This would make for a pretty epic jump. This is a little high for my taste. Whew. I'm going down now. Okay, so I guess I can't be here and not go all the way to the top of the railroad tracks. I mean, where's my sense of adventure? Like, come on, Zach. So I'm gonna let my phone charge for a second and then I'm gonna head up to the top. I gotta see this view. Hopefully a train doesn't come while I'm on top of it. That would be bad. Okay, so I went back up the way where the rocks are because I just felt like it was safer that way. I know how to be a daredevil, but I'm not an idiot, guys. I know when to use caution. This is one of those times. So I'm gonna go up this way because I still gotta get this view. Sweet. I don't even have to worry about the train. I've got a walkway on the side. Check out this view. This is what it's all about, guys. This is why I love exploring. This is why I love pushing my boundaries so I can be able to see things like this. I'm on top of the world! <laughs> okay, so that was pretty awesome, but now I'm getting ready to head back. I hope y'all enjoyed uh, getting to be able to experience this with me. You know, maybe you might even decide you wanna come here too. But please, please, guys, use caution be careful if you do come out here and if someone tells you not to come out here i haven't been told i couldn't come out here but if someone does be respectful don't come out here if they tell you not to okay so i decided to climb down all the rocks and come on to this thing because I really didn't want to go back through all that thicket because I'm tired of getting cut up. So I'm going to try and jump off this. It doesn't look too high. I'm going to probably shimmy down to that and then jump off. Yeah, jumping off that was way easier. It took like an eighth of the time and I didn't get cut up. So now the hike back to my car. Goodbye, friend. Until next time. Oh boy, I am so sweaty. I'm ready to get home get a shower, be able to get in my bed and actually get a legit nap in.
good thing is once I get to my car I'm only 10 15 minutes away from home so not that far Whew, finally back to my car let's go home guys home sweet home okay guys so I haven't really been able to record anything since I got home because when I got home I immediately crashed and I woke up and it was time to start getting ready for church and I kind of just got rushed for time trying to get ready for church so I couldn't record anything so I went to church and then after that I went to the gym because I didn't have the chance to go this morning since I was driving all day and there again it was late at night and they were getting ready to close soon so I was just trying to book it and get my workout done so I wasn't worried about trying to record anything but now I'm finally home after a long and exhausting day so I'm gonna go in and we're gonna do the verse of the day and then that's gonna bring this video to a wrap. Okay guys, so let's do the verse of the day. So today's verse comes from Psalms chapter 143, verse 10. It says, Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Let your good spirit lead me on level ground. I think this is just a really good verse to keep in mind and just really let it sink in and resonate with us because we constantly need to be going to God to find out how we should be living our lives and asking him what his will for us is. You know, oftentimes we get so caught up in daily life that we don't stop to analyze if we're living it for God and we're doing what he would have us do. So we constantly need to be turning to God to see if we're living correctly and ask him if we're fulfilling his will. And you do that not only just through prayer, but you go to the Bible and you read scripture to see what God has to say about how we should live our lives. So definitely try and ponder on this verse, guys. But this is where I'm drawing the video to an end. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. And you know the drill. Go ahead and leave a like on the video. Go comment your thoughts or ideas. And make sure to go subscribe if you're not already. And tap that little bell to turn post notifications on. That way you'll be updated with all my new videos. That only takes a few seconds out of your day, guys. And it greatly helps me. And I really appreciate it if y'all would do that. Alright, goodbye for now, guys. I will see y'all soon.